What's up, everybody? So we are less than a week away from the National. I'll be heading out to Chicago on Friday. Looking forward to, you know, doing some footage out there and then sharing it with you guys. Uh, it's going to be a really awesome experience. Uh, but I wanted to do one final video before I headed out to Chicago. And this is 15 cards that you can get for about $50 right now. And uh, I did a similar video about a year ago, 10 cards for $30. And I have to be honest with you, I really regret not making a lot of those purchases. I should have taken my own advice. So with a lot of these cards that I'm about to show you, I literally did the research and then I went ahead and bought uh, 10 of these. Uh, and then five of them were actually part of my personal collection. So the, all these cards I currently own. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start off with uh, my man Cody Bellinger who is basically a shoe-in to win the National League MVP this year. Uh, the guy is having a monster season. Um, now, the Prism Refractor is going to cost you a little bit more than 50 but if you just buy the base Topps Chrome card, you can get that for like 9 or $10 right now. You can get the... Um, the the base in a PSA 10 for under 50 sometimes around $40 uh, for the PSA 10 I really think that that's a great buy right now um, one thing that I'll, I'll note uh, if you have the means to get the card graded um, for the uh, the prism refractor there were 171 of these cards submitted and 113 came back as PSA 10 so that's a 76 percent rate of getting a PSA 10. So in other words, these cards are really easy to get a PSA 10 on. So if you have the means to submit, now grading's gonna cost you about 10, possibly more than that, $10. Um, but if you have the means to grade, uh, it is there's a really good percentage that it's gonna come back as a PSA 10. So I would definitely take advantage of that. Uh, but just a huge fan of Bellinger and a great buy right now. Now, I wanted to lead off with that because I want to show you, if, if there's a blue chip, there's no way this card is not going to go up. Uh, I would go with uh, the 1989 Topps traded Griffey in a PSA 10. Uh, I was able to purchase this just about a week ago for $53. Um, and the reason why I brought up the Cody Bellinger was that for this card, 66,452 uh, of these cards were submitted to PSA and only 10,591 came back as a PSA 10. So that is a 16% rate. So that is part of the reason why I like to buy uh, 80s cards already graded because it, it is so difficult to get a PSA 10, 16%. And you know people are only picking out their best cards. So a 16% rate, um, I had already had the PSA 9, so I'm sure I'll probably end up giving away the PSA 9 in some giveaway in the future, uh, but I wanted to pick it up in a PSA 10, and if there's any card that I feel incredibly confident about over the next five years, it's this card. There's no way this doesn't continue to go up, and I was able to pick it up for $53. Uh, next up is another Griffey. And uh, this is a really cool card, a card that I did not own. I've never owned this card, the 1989 Classic Travel uh, in a PSA 10. The cool thing about this card, if you're a Griffey fan, is that there are only 244 PSA 10s out there of this particular card. And I think it's a really cool looking card. Um, there were 1,400 submitted, so again, a 16% rate. It's very difficult to get a PSA 10 on it. And uh, for a card that only has 244 of one of the most popular players in our hobby, I think it's a great purchase. And I was able to get this for $53. Uh, next up is yet again another King Griffey Jr. card. Now, this is a card that I had already owned. Uh, you should be able to get this for under $50. Bucks, um, and I'm sure you've seen this card many times before. before. Uh, this is part of the Score Traded set. And um, there are 3,683 uh, of these in existence and a 15% rate of getting a PSA 10. So again, very difficult to get a PSA 10 on. And there are only 3,600 3, out there. You can get this still for under 50 bucks. Uh, next up, and I think I actually had this uh, in a previous video, uh, but I still love 
the Pedro Martinez. Um, this was part of my collection already, uh, but I really love this card. 1992 Bowman, which is such an, an amazing set. I love the 92 Bowman set. It's with the uh, Mariano Rivera rookie in there. Uh, so you can get this uh, again for about $50. Uh, there are only 1,500 of these out there, 9,800 submitted, so 15% rate. So again, you can just you see the point that I'm trying to make. The eight, the cards from the 80s and the 90s, uh, early 90s are very difficult to get a PSA 10 on. So you're better off buying them already graded if you can. Uh, and again, Hall of Fame pitcher, one of the greatest um, of our generation. So. And again, you can get this still for about 50 bucks. All right, so the next card is this 93 Tops Derek Jeter in a PSA 9. You can pick up this card for about $35. Uh, Derek Jeter is uh, going into the Hall of Fame next year, and he's going to be all over the news. Um, they're going to be talking about him. You know, is he going to get 100% of the vote? Is he not going to get 100% of the vote? Um, any. Any of that kind of press is just going to drive the card up. Um, when people debate about a particular player, it's it's going to uh, pump up the, the value of the card. Um, now, this in a PSA 10 is going to cost $250, but in a PSA 9, you can still get for about $35. Uh, this one I ha already had in my collection, and I think it's a great uh, purchase right now. If, if you know, $35 bucks for this particular card in a PSA 9. Uh, next up is the uh, the 1990 Fleer Michael Jordan. Uh, I was able to, now this might have been a one-off, I was able to get this card for $50.15. Um, I've always been a huge fan of this card. I, I, um, I own this uh, from my childhood collection, and there it is. You can see it's way off center. There's no way I'd ever get a PSA 10 on that. Um, I was able to get this on four sharp corners. For fifty dollars and fifteen cents, like if you guys are familiar with that site, um, if you go and purchase the card on the site, usually they'll give you about twelve to fifteen percent off. Um, and the reason why they're able to do that is because they, instead of uh, them incurring the eBay fees, if they direct uh, sell directly through the site, they no longer have to incur those fees, and then they just pass it along to the buyer. Um, so there were 2,500, uh, uh, 13,000 submitted, 2,500 came back as PSA 10, so an 18% chance of getting a PSA 10. Uh, so you're just better off buying it, graded already in a PSA 10. Love this picture of uh, Michael Jordan. You really can't go wrong uh, with Michael Jordan, and he uh, was, his rookie card uh, was featured in one of the best purchases that I've uh, made since I've been uh, over the last five years. Uh, you definitely can't go wrong with an awesome Michael Jordan card. And I was, again, able to get this for $50.15. Next up is the 1989 Upper Deck Randy Johnson in a PSA 10. Uh, definitely one of the greatest pitchers um, of the 90s. Uh, obviously beat the Yankees in that 2001 World Series. Also pitched for the Yankees. Uh, was able to get this for uh, forty-five dollars and seventy-five cents, um, and the uh, the funny thing about this card, uh, there were three thousand eight hundred nineteen submitted. Uh, I'm sorry, twenty-six thousand submitted. Thirty-eight hundred came back as a PSA ten, which is a fourteen point four percent rate. I thought this would be an easy card to get a PSA ten on, but it's actually the lowest of all the cards that I'm about to show you. Fourteen point four percent came back as a PSA ten. Uh, just a an awesome card from from that one of the most popular sets, the 1989 Upper Deck set. Uh, definitely a great card to add to your collection. Next up um, is my man Bo Jackson, 1986 Don Russ. Uh, you should be able to get this for about 50 bucks. Uh, the population on this in a PSA 10 is only 495. And for those of you guys that were around in the 80s, uh, Bo knows the guy was the most popular uh, player in all of sports uh, with the Bo knows commercials. Uh, just an unbelievable athlete. And uh, I think a lot of people are kind of remembering him now and uh, his cards are skyrocketing. Uh, but you could still get this for about 50 bucks, which I think is a great buy. And then just to add to that, another card. Uh, number 11 on my list is the 87 Don Russ Bo Jackson in a PSA 10. And you got the black borders, which you know it's going to be difficult to get a PSA 10 on. Uh, I was able to get this for $48.39. 
There are only 895 of these cards out there that are in a PSA 10. And uh, love this card with the, uh, the rated rookie in the lower right-hand corner. Uh, next up, and uh, it's funny, like as soon as I bought this card, um, he had a, another incident with the, with the law. Uh, but Dwight Gooden, uh, 1985 Don Russ. Uh, now this one was a little bit more expensive. I ended up paying $57 for this. Um, some people might call this his rookie. I know there was a, uh, he had an 84 Fleer update card, uh, but this is the 85 Don Russ. You could still get this, uh, for around 50 bucks in a PSA 10. And, um, one of the, you know, maybe this is because I lived in New York. Uh, the, the 86 team was just, uh, the, one of the craziest teams, the 86 Mets team. And then of course he won some world series with the Yankees. Uh, but just a, a really cool card uh, that you can get for about 50 bucks, And I think, and you guys have seen, the 80s cards have gone crazy lately. I think a lot of it, you know, had to do with the, the Beckett doing their top 80, 80 cards of the 80s. But I also think a lot of people, you know, are, are getting back into the hobby when, um, you know, now that people have kids and uh, just have some disposable income and they want to get some of these cards uh, that they didn't have as a kid or or have or similar to me they had they had the card as a kid and it looks like this <laughs> this is my card and uh, definitely not going to come back as a as a 10 and this is a, a much nicer version so there you have it and then speaking of speaking of um, Mets the uh, 84 Fleer strawberry uh and i was able to get this for 52 dollars uh you can uh get there are only 312 of these out there that's the population on this card and um one of the most popular players in new york uh, both on the yankees and the mets and uh similar to the the gooden card a great uh pickup uh if you can get this in a psa 10 i know he has the 83 tops traded card uh, as well. So just keep that in mind. This is sort of a second year card that a lot of people will call a rookie card. Um, next up, and you know, this is one of those cards, again, I, I couldn't believe how cheap. I, so I was able to get this for $57. Again, a couple bucks over $50, but I was able to get this for $57. And I just, I couldn't believe that it was available uh, for, for that little, you know, to get a card from the early eighties, uh, of a hall of fame player like Wade Boggs for around 50, 50 bucks. I just thought it was crazy. Uh, there are only 176 of these in a PSA 10 out there. Uh, just a great purchase. I don't know if <laughs> I have no idea if, if this will ever be available again for around $50. Uh, but just a great purchase in a PSA 10. Uh, the next card that I wanted to mention, um, and this is something, uh, so Freddie Freeman, uh, I was able to get this card for $36. This is the, uh, the Topps Diamond from two, 2011, and um, I was just comparing it to this card. This is the Mike Trout. So this Mike Trout card, and uh, both of these players, both rookies in 2011, now Mike Trout, uh, his rookie uh, th this this particular card in a PSA 10 is going to cost you $3,500. And this card, uh, Freddie Freeman, who it's very pod, don't be surprised if Freddie Freeman and Mike Trout go into the Hall of Fame on the same day in the future. This one costed me $36. So $36, $3,500. So I really think that Freddie Freeman is one of the most underrated players in the game right now um, in terms of hobby appeal. Um, if you look at his stats, they're right up there with the, the top players in baseball again this year. The guy is on the trajectory of a Hall of Fame career. And uh, again, the fact that I was able to pick up his this particular card, 2011 Topps Diamond, uh, for $36 was pretty insane. And by the way, for some reason, I bought a card that was in Taiwan. <laughs> and here is, uh, here's the sheet. The guy who like, wrapped it in so you can see clearly... Uh, that this was bought uh, by somebody in Taiwan. I don't know. He must have got this from a magazine. But, I don't know. I figured I'd show that. Um, but, yeah, just a great purchase um, for under 50 bucks. You can get this, this and if you don't want to get the, uh, the Topps Diamond, you can get the PSA 10 for under 50 bucks, which I think is crazy. Um, I have two more cards to show you. And number 15 on my list 
uh, is the 2017 Aaron Judge uh, in a PSA 10. And uh, you should get this. This one costs you 30 bucks. It's not a very expensive card. Um, you know, there's there's certain players to me that have the it factor. You know, Griffey had it, Trout, Derek Jeter, Mickey Mantle. To me, Aaron Judge has that it factor. Now, the, the thing that... Um, reason why Aaron Judge's cards are cheaper is because of his age, because of his injuries. It really depends on how his... There's a lot of risk there as well. But there's something special about Aaron Judge. You know, again, I'm a Yankee fan, so maybe this is... <laughs> um, but, the, you know, that's that's sort of uh, how I feel about it with Aaron Judge. This is his first uh, Topps card. This is part of Series 1. So this, to me, this will be the most desirable card to get. And for 30 bucks, it's worth the risk to me. And then, uh, finally, a card that you cannot get for 50 bucks that I think is a fantastic purchase. Now, this is... Uh, much more uh, higher end is the 93 Stadium Club Derek Jeter Murphy. I blame Filmington <laughs> for, for this. Uh, he had showed this off and um, was able to get this for $650. Uh, I believe that, you know, again, when he goes into Cooperstown next year, this will be a $1,000 card. I could be wrong, but um, th why not? I mean, uh, this this is a uh, not an easy card to get in a PSA 10 um, limited supply. I forgot to look up the population on it, but is a really really cool card of the captain. And of course, the 93 SP card has gotten completely out of control. So there you have it, guys. Uh, 15 cards for fifty dollars, and of course, got to finish with a card that you definitely can't get for fifty dollars. Um, so there you have it. Those are the cards that I picked up. Highly recommend it. Um, I will put a link, uh, Bron Bronx Bombers, uh, cards, I did a video of, uh, showing off, uh, so I did the 10 cards for $30 and then he did a recap because he ended up picking up a lot of the cards that I got. I'll post a video below so you can see that he did really well for himself, uh, since that video. So I highly recommend, uh, some of these buys, you know, especially if you only have 50 bucks, uh, to spend. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I will talk to you later. I'll see you in Chicago.